they used an actual company. It'll only take a little while longer, madam. It's quite a lot of money. You know to meet Joe's LAPD. Buddy. He's nice, we'll take it from here. Really. God damn it. Everyone's against me. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? You look sweet. How about giving a girl a break? I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. Stefan, call for black and white. Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. She is kinda chubby. I definitely would not tap that. The car you <laughs> sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. Doubt. Gene, you've blown open the whole operation because you were dumb enough to try to sell one of the cars. What do you think they're gonna do to you? Give me something. I was just doing what they do. They pay me 50 bucks to drive the car. I made two grand selling it. You made zero. And if they catch you, you're dead. Is that all your life's worth? Look, a girl needs things. I don't see you looking out for me. Association with Belasco. How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? <laughs> Lie. You're lying. James Belasco. I don't remember mentioning his first name, Miss Archer. Oh, I... Well, I think you did, didn't you? Well, I'm sure of it. Anyway, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Stolen auto courier. You aren't sharp enough to lie to me, Gene. You and James Belasco share the same address on your pink slips. We have him in a cell. Okay, so I know the creep. The pink slips are real. The home addresses are always vacant lots. Bigelow is always boasting that the paperwork is legit and that if we stick to our stories... And don't try and sell the car? Yeah, that too. Stolen auto courier. Tell me where you picked up the car, Miss Archer. Look, I, I can't remember. Let me go, will you? Please. What have I got to do? Nothing that I want from you. <laughs> Doubt. Trying my patience here, Gene. I'll have the reporters down here and have your picture in all the papers. You'll have nowhere to run. All right, already. I get the message. I pick up the cars from a guy named Bigelow. 58 Industrial Street. Big warehouse full of goons. Now, you've got what you want. Can I go? Please? No, you sure can. We've got a car waiting outside for you. Some career advice, Gene. Get out of crime. Marry someone boring who has money and will find you captivating. Is this guy for real? He takes a little getting used to, but yeah, he generally means what he says. Okay, let's go to a car. We're gonna visit that marquee printing shop again. You know the way. To answers to our questions. So Why where do you is everyone go? getting pins slips from this guy? Friendly girl, used to getting her own way. Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable Cole Phelps. She's not my type. And what is your type, Phelps? I'm married. I know that. Well, you're not blind or dead inside, are you? Wait, scrap that second half of the question. Uh, I don't know. Blondes, I guess. Hallelujah! The man is human after all. Now, get the symbolized. Yep, I'm with you on the blonde. Brunette's a fine team. And there's nothing wrong with a good redhead. <laughs> But I draw the line at gray. You know, I might have to lift that embargo soon in the interest of maintaining the free market. A man with high standards. The standards are only as high as the last glass of whiskey. <laughs> That's why I love <laughs> this guy. We're just gonna go in here, conduct a quick interview, then pick up one more piece of evidence. We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightbulb. Knowledge of theft racket. Mr. Lightbulb, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. 
Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? It really bugs me how his tie doesn't reach his belt buckle. Pro tip for dressing up kids, the length of your tie should reach your belt buckle. Otherwise, it just looks stupid. Alright, it's doubt. We have suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightfall. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact, we had a similar problem a couple of years ago. A number of used car lots were selling blank documents to a criminal organization. Pink slip supply. Do so the names Chris Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. Doubt again. Harrison bought his car from Coombs. The pink slip looks good, and that points the finger here. Do you have any employee trouble? No, I don't. They've all been carefully screened. Look, now that I think about it, the name Coombs sounds familiar. I think they may have been involved in stolen documents in the past. Coombs Auto Deliveries. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightfall? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. Doubt. Hand it over, Lightball. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. But this really is irregular. Over here. All right, just check out this ledger really quickly. Look for patterns, referring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. S. Bigelow. Certainly <laughs> encourage repeat business, Lightball. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. <laughs> okay, now let's go to 58 Industrial. Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we headed? We're gung ho, Cole. You have a 45. Don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Just give me a few seconds to get around there. Cole Phelps, LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me. <laughs> Guess not. Let's see if I can do this with my hat here. Throw out the guns. Get down here. And something you would want to note here, this next area I'm going to shoot with this engine is actually going to cheapen as well. So you have to shoot that string down where the engine is hanging and then you're going to cheapen it for it. Let me actually just take care of this guy right in front of me first, so it's a little easier. One second. Come on, bro. Let's go pop up. Alright, now let's sit down here. So you should get an achievement for doing that. Got, got the guy's hat, really? Nice shooting. Yo, more back there. Whoa, jeez. Oh, oh. Whoops. Oh, yeah, yeah, 
Now we're gonna look closer here. Put your weapons down and your hands in the Nova hat! Damn it! Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Get your hat. Damn it. Can I get my hat now? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so there's some guys up here. Just be careful. How long do you think you can hold out? Try the door at the end. I heard something. We don't need to pick up any weapons, so all right, all right. don't shoot! Keep your hands up. Watch him, Bukowski. He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. So first check out this desk. Pick up this one first, the big one. Marquee Printing Company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. Okay, and then bedding slips right here. Notice the name Lightfall. Bedding slip. Looks like Mr. Lightfall has been on a losing streak. And then come over to this desk. There are enough slips here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas. Yep. We've got a trail of pink slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck, but I don't think you're the man in charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I do work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the Ballad of Bulge. I can't give you anything. Pink slip supply. You know about Marky Printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem. <laughs> Doubt. There are at least four dead men in this warehouse. A couple more. Punks won't make for that much extra paperwork. We'd be doing the legal system a favor. Okay, okay, tough guy. I get the message. Lightfall. The guy who runs Marquis. He's the big shot. He likes to spend big at the track. He owes people. Association with Lightfall. Lightfall. The guy with no luck at the track. Tell me about him. One of the guys lying over there. <laughs> right. There's no luck. Lie. That's the best lie you can come up with, Bigelow. Hey, would I lie to you, Detective? I'm not exactly in a good position here now, am I? Delivery ledger. Gordon Lightball owns Marquee Printing, a government print shop. He's losing big at the track. He has these big government contracts. He's in Hawk over 20 grand. If the feds find out, the contracts will be all over. Lightball plays ball. All right, Bigelow. The heat is off you. Play your cards right, and you'll be able to count your time in Quentin on one hand. Same card every single time. <laughs> All we gotta do is just go apprehend Lightfall. Cars over All here. Right? You're behind the wheel. So Marquee Printing Company. What a mess. Ugh, it's gonna take some cleaning up, that's for sure. I wish it hadn't gone that way. Well, we shouldn't bring guns to work with them. We didn't have a lot of choice. You have to admire the barefaced cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute and pleads innocence the next. Yeah, especially when he's surrounded by evidence. You know, guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong that they actually start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Bigelow, Lightfall, all of them. If they hadn't, who knows how long they could have kept this racket going. Complacency or greed. It's always one of the two that brings them down.
Alrighty, let's go see what this guy can talk about. You're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. Deliveries to Industrial Street. We found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, Lightbulb. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. This scene kind of intrigues me right here because I'm not 100% sure. Would you just fail the mission completely if you hit truth? <laughs> or would there be like a loop around? I'm not going to try it right now because this is a 5 star let's play. But if any of you guys know or are willing to try, let me know in the comment box below. But it is a lie. Save it, Lightball. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof or I call my attorney. And it is the betting slips that you like to bet on the ponies with. You're in the hole with the organization. We know about the debts, Lightball. I agree, I have a small problem. I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. I'll name names. Uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. I need- You need to shut up now, Lightball. Gordon Lightball, I'm charging you with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. The LAPD Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, writes crime correspondent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here it is. Traffic squad detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. After an exchange of gunfire, more than a dozen dead criminals were removed from the scene. The LAPD sustained no casualties. Damn fine work, Phelps. Now get out there and nail some more bad guys, will you? I want to finish reading this. And there it is, guys. 18 out of 18, 21 out of 21. Zero across the board. So that is a slip of the tongue DLC. There's one more case left in the traffic cases called the console's car R, I think. That's a tongue twister in itself, but yeah. Thank you for watching, and if you guys enjoyed the video, all I ask is that you just give it a quick rating. It just helps me out a lot. It helps the series out a lot, and I will see you guys next time for more DLC, and on June 21st for the next bout of DLC, which will hopefully extend the storyline past the main story. Alright, take it easy, and have a fantastic day.